Now, in this problem, first of all, we will try to simplify this expression x plus 2 under root x minus 1. Is it clear? Now, you see what I am trying to do here is this x, I am writing it as x under root x minus 1 whole square plus 1 square. Is it clear? Because under root x minus 1 whole square will give you x minus 1 and here plus 1 which will yield x only which is there exactly. Why I have done this thing? Because this will give us the formula for a square plus b square plus 2ab which is nothing but your a plus b whole square. So that gives you under root x minus 1 plus 1. Is it clear? So the first expression of the given uh, problem is in the denominator we are getting under root x minus 1 plus 1. Similarly, if we try to simplify, in that case we are going to get under root x minus 1 minus 1. In the similar method if we proceed, we are going to get under root x minus 1 minus 1. Therefore, our problem actually becomes 1 by under root x minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 by under root x minus 1 minus 1. Is it clear? Now, if I take the LCM, then we are going to get So, 1, 1 goes off. So, we are left with what? 2 under root x minus 1 divided by, this is a plus b into a minus b. So, it is a square minus b square which gives you x minus 1 minus 1. So, our final simplified answer will be 2 under root x minus 1 divided by x minus 2. Is it clear to all of you? Is this problem clear? In this sum, they have given us x equals to under root under root 10 minus plus 1 divided by under root 10 minus 1. Now what I am doing is I am rationalizing the denominator inside this root sign. So what we are going to get? Divided by So, in the numerator we are getting divided by 10 minus 1 that gives you 9. So, ultimately it yields under root 10 plus 1 divided by 3. Am I correct? Is it clear to all of you till this? Okay. Now, what will be 1 by x? Your 1 by x will be 3 by under root 10 plus 1. Again, we are rationalizing this. So, we are getting, we are multiplying numerator and denominator by its conjugate. So, in the denominator, we are getting root 10 plus 1 into root 10 minus 1. So, we are coming to 3 times root 10 minus 1 and in the denominator, it is a square minus b square because it is a plus b into a minus b. So, it is a square minus b square. So, that gives you what? under root 10 minus 1 divided by actually it is 9 so this 3 will get cancelled so in the numerator in the denominator we are getting 3 only therefore x minus 1 by x will give you what root 10 plus 1 by 3 minus root 10 minus 1 divided by 3 so if we take the lcm 3 we are going to get root 10 plus 1 minus root 10 plus 1 so, root 10, root 10 goes off. So, we are left with 2 by 3. Is it clear? Is this problem clear to everybody? In this question, let us assume the given expression as your y. Okay? It is under root x, under root x, under root x. It goes till infinity. Now, if I square both sides, we are going to get x under root x, under root x, dot, 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 till infinity. Is it clear? Now you see, from infinity, 
if you take one term out or even if you add one term it remains infinity is it clear now if i just close this one and if i see this one look at carefully under root x under root x under root x, one x has come out so even if i suppress this this whole thing again becomes nothing but your y because it is tending it is till infinity if it is it would have been you know to n terms then we would have not replaced it by y because from n terms if you take one term out then the total number of terms will become n minus 1 but in case of infinity even if you take one term out it remains infinity is it clear so this whole expression will be nothing but your y again is it clear therefore y square minus xy i'm taking xy in the left hand side we are getting zero taking y common so either your y is zero or your y is x is it clear now your y cannot be equals to zero because here x is not equals to zero let us assume x is not equals to zero because if x would have been zero then the whole expression is zero that is quite natural so i'm not concerned about that so we let us for a time being we consider that your x is not equals to zero implies x is not equals to zero also i'm sorry x is not equals to zero implies y is not equals to zero therefore your answer your final answer the value of this expression will be nothing but your x the value of the, the expression is your y the value of that expression will be nothing but your x is it clear to all of you absolutely now in this problem let us take the first expression which is your 1 by 1 plus root 2 which can be written as if i rationalize it multiplying numerator and denominator with root 2 minus 1 so in the denominator we are getting so we are left with root 2 minus 1 divided by in the denominator this is a square minus b square that is 2 minus 1 which gives you root 2 minus 1 is it clear the second expression is root 2 plus root 3 again i am rationalizing it multiplying numerator and denominator with root 3 minus root 2 so we are getting root 3 minus root 2 by 1 which is your root 3 minus root 2 again the third expression we are having root 3 plus root 4 again rationalizing in the same fashion so we are left with root 4 minus root 3 and this thing goes on and the last expression is root 8 plus root 9 so that gives you after rationalizing in the same way we are getting root 5 minus root 8 is it clear now if i add all the terms in the left hand side we are going to get the value of the expression okay and in the right hand side observe it carefully if i add all the terms root 2 root 2 goes off root 3 root 3 goes off so naturally root 8 will go off with the previous root 8 is it clear so we are left with in the right hand side we are left with in the left hand side we have the expression and in the right hand side we are left with root 9 minus 1 root 9 is 3 minus 1 which gives you 2 is it clear to all of you absolutely